What's going on guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about Joe speaking out on his live stream about big streamers cheating. This is going to be a good one. So let's crack on with the video. So this is the video here of Joe discussing with somebody in his chat on his live stream about big streamers cheating. Now he's already expressed his opinion in the past. So let's see if it's any different now that we're in Warzone 2 and now that everybody's pretty much aware that Ricochet anti-cheat doesn't really do much. That's weird. Um, what percentage of big streamers do you think do cheat? Pretty much the same answer that he gave last time. A big fat zero. And the reason he says this is because for some reason, Joe is willing to risk his own brand and his own name to protect others. But why would somebody who's legit Right? If somebody was legit completely not cheated a day in their life, why would they put their own name against others who they don't really know in real life? Maybe they've met them at a couple of events, maybe they've played online in tournaments with them and so on and so on. But they don't really know them. They don't know what they get up to on their day-to-day -day lives. So why would somebody who's legit risk their own brand and put their own brand on the line to claim that the other streamers aren't cheating? unless the person stating that has something to hide as well, right? So that's something to keep in mind as we go forward with this. Let's have a look at the reasoning behind why Joe believes that no big streamers cheat. Zero. This much. Zero. Okay, we get a zero. Less okay. than zero. Less than zero. Again. Here's why, and again, I'm not saying, I'm not saying that it's only small streamers, but again, this is why I say that. Again, I'm not saying it's only small streamers. It's not just small streamers, but I'm saying this. So he's not saying it's only small streamers who cheat, but he also stated that zero big streamers cheat. So which is it? It can't be both. It can't be that he's not saying it's just small streamers. Unless he's saying some big streamers cheat. Now, before he gets into a couple of things, I want to I want you guys to remember some of the big streamers out there who have managed to still get away with it. Zelena, Aiden, Diaz Biffle, and a couple of others as well. These are the big streamers who will always probably get away with it. That's not going to stop people like me pointing out the inconsistencies within their gameplay or pointing out the snaps or unnatural mechanics of their gameplay. But this is the type of thing that can happen when you reach the pinnacle of streaming of that specific game right you get your hands in all sorts of pies you are contracted up whitelisted up ndas left right and center and they're not allowed to speak out against each other right so these guys who have been accused who have had unnatural gameplay put out on them you've got to remember if you can't do that gameplay if you can't do those mechanics in the game yourself if they are not built into the game they are using something to assist them and that's something that's always been pointed out. But then what you have to remember as well is Nadia. She's now one of the biggest names, at least one of the biggest female content creators in the Warzone space, right? But she's actually had one account permaband minimum in the past. And that has actually been proven. And she has, to this day, not signed into that account to try and prove anybody otherwise. So why is Joe putting his brand on the line to protect all big streamers saying that zero of them cheat? This is the reason why. Now let's take a listen. You know, the biggest streamers that you're saying? The biggest... Sh this is our careers, right? Our careers, right? Our sponsors, our salaries, our businesses, our money, our brand, our name, our business, likeliness. The list goes on and on and on, right? So he's essentially saying that because these guys do it for the job, there's no reason for them to cheat. No incentive whatsoever. But what if I was to say this, right? There are streamers out there who I don't believe cheat, who are probably far levels above these guys or levels above where the likes of Joe Woes and Zelanas will ever be. We're talking about Tim the Tapman. We're talking about Dr. Disrespect. We're talking about Nick Merckx. We're talking about Ninja, right? These guys are the pinnacle of streamers. They're at the top and they will always remain at the top until they retire. The likes of your Joe Woes and your Tommies and your Zelaners and your Aidens, they're, they're at another level. They're like down here somewhere, right? So there's just levels to it. And what you've got to remember is this, that 
Dr. Disrespect didn't need gameplay really to make himself, to make his brand, to grow himself as a streamer or creator because he was entertaining. But there are other streamers out there who solely rely on their gameplay. And when you are then playing a game that is riddled with rage hackers and cheaters, how do you avoid that? You can't really, can you? So if you can't beat them, join them, especially if you're making hundreds of grand a month, which many of these streamers are who have been mentioned. So if these guys are making 100 grand a month, right? What reason would they have to cheat? Why would they jeopardize their career? We've heard this, this is an old argument and it's simple. Without those cheats, they can't perform as well as they normally would. Therefore, falling down a list of good creators because they've got no personality to add on top of their gameplay because they've solely relied on their gameplay. So now they forced their hand to have to cheat to maintain that level of relevancy as well as all the tournaments and wager games and things like that. If you run wall hacks in a wager game, you've got more chance of winning which means you would gain financially from it. And then there are others now who have also cheated in the past to get where they are, who don't cheat anymore. And these are people who have made it to where they want to. They've made it to the point where they feel financially secure and have no reason to cheat anymore. So for that reason, I would say that Joe Woe's argument is complete and utter trash. How many people have we seen being kicked out and banned from Twitch Rivals tournaments? What about Wagnificent, who was permanently banned, who is now classed as one of these large Twitch streamers with hundreds of thousands of followers, like thousands of concurrent viewers, making thousands and thousands every day, probably week maybe, and then entering into the Twitch Rivals Tournaments World Series of Warzone, as well as being signed by an organization at one point. So at what point do you, do you draw the line and say, well, no, no, I didn't mean him when I said big creator. I didn't mean him when I said big streamer. But I'll tell you now, that's that's Wagnificent's job. So his whole argument, Joe O's whole argument now, is completely debunked by the fact that Nadia is a cheater and it's her full-time job now streaming. Wagnificent is a cheater and it's his full-time job now streaming as well. And there are multiple other people out there who do this as a full-time job who are at a high level with a big following, with sponsors, right? Who've been signed with orgs, who've been moved into the Nuke Squad house who have been Pima banned in the past and are cheating still. Let's carry on listening to what Joe Woe has to ramble on about though. So you think that that the bigger streamers, that this is their everything, this is their income, this is their everything, would risk having some wall hacks on, bro? Yes. And then not get caught? Well, what if they did get caught by Activision and Pima banned and still were able to grow and still were able to do whatever it is they do? cheating to earn money and do you know what the real problem of all this is when people like Wagnificent and Nadia do get caught and exposed the likes of your Joe Woes your Z-Laners your Aidens they don't express their opinion on it if they come out downright saying that that guy's cheating she's cheating he's cheating yes you were right about him you were right about her then maybe people would think hang on maybe these guys do care about the cheating problem in the game maybe they do want the cheaters eradicated from the game completely and maybe they're not cheating themselves because they're against the cheaters, but instead, they stay quiet, they zip their lips, throw away the key and never bring it up. You go and ask any of these guys in their stream whether or not they believe Nadia's cheating, you'll either get banned or you won't get a response. And if they do respond, it'll probably be, oh, well, I'm, I'm not sure, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, and they'll play dumb. And the reason they do that is because they're only trying to protect their own pockets, their own income. And they think, well, if I start a war against that streamer, then it could cause a little bit of a problem and it could cause drama, which could mean a decrease in revenue each month. You've got to look at it that way. These guys aren't willing to speak out about other streamers. So when Joe Woe sat there saying the zero streamers are cheating, how can you take his word for it? And especially the fact that he doesn't really know most of these other streamers in real life, does he? And called out in tournaments? But again, the people that have been caught cheating, and I'm not picking on just small streamers, I'm saying the... the you know most of them have been small streamers because they have nothing to lose okay so let's talk about pace setter at the time the pace setter was caught in the twitch rivals tournament cheating i think he was around the same size as joe let's talk about magnificent when he was payment band i think he had about twenty thousand followers right now he's on hundreds of thousands of followers so essentially he's been able to grow Let's talk about Nadia. When she was actually perma banned, she used to sit on like 30 concurrent viewers on Twitch when she perma banned on that account. And now she plays on a different account and somehow has managed to blow up paid subs, paid followers, and all that. But she's blown up and she's been invited to all sorts of COD Next events, been invited to do a Hummer advert, and so much more. 
all linked to Call of Duty, all linked to Activision, even though she's had an account permanently banned in the past. And yet Jobo sits here somehow saying it's only small streamers who are caught or who do cheat. The fact of the matter remains, there's been pro players caught cheating at LAN events in the past. Optic Forsaken, it may not be Call of Duty, but he was a professional player and he got caught at a LAN event trying to inject his cheat through a USB drive. Let that sink in. And let, it, let this also sink in that you've got Joe Woe sat in his living room, in his own house, at his own setup, telling you that all these other guys who are at his level, in the sense of followership, are not cheating. How can you take his word for it? Tell him to sit there and break down the gameplay of all these streamers that we've exposed in the past and see whether or not he's willing to do so. If not, then don't take his word for it. But again, it's up to you if you want to believe him. I certainly won't believe him. I've seen some main bot snaps from this guy myself. Anyway, guys, let me know what you guys think about Joe's opinion on top streamers cheating in the comments below. I'm going to be honest with you. I was hoping that it would actually be slightly different to his last opinion. But once again, Joe has backed all of these large streamers. None of them would cheat. Big Fat Zero. What about 5x5x? She got caught cheating after being invited out by Activision to attend the LAN event. Work that one out. And all of the others in between. There have been so many large streamers and I'm, i bet you there's an excuse for every single one of them from joe well they're not too large that's not what i mean they weren't who i was talking about then don't say all large streamers don't say zero large streamers are cheating many have already been caught and exposed many others have been caught exposed and somehow managed to still grow but joe you put your brand and your name on the line now so if at any point a big streamer does get caught and does show a cheat menu or wall hacks do pop up on stream just remember this moment, because me and my community won't forget it. If you did enjoy today's video, guys, smash that thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, subscribe, turn on notifications so you don't miss our future uploads. And guys, if you want to contact me about any streamer, no matter how big or small, you can reach me on Twitter, at BadBoyBeeman. Until next time, I'll catch you on the flip side. Peace!